from his beginnings as a dancer at television station TVB, to becoming one of the four heavenly kings of Kanto pop, and an actor, Aaron Kwok Fushing, is a Hong Kong icon. Kwok has captivated audiences across Asia and beyond with his charismatic stage presence. Unforgettable dance, moves and dedication to his craft as an actor. His superstar status is testament to his talent and hard work. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge. Our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs, analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. Born in Hong Kong on October 26, 1965, what was drawn to the world of entertainment. In 1984, he joined TVB's dance training course, where his talent was soon recognized. He started performing in music videos and variety shows for other singers. In 1987, he began training in acting and became a television actor, picking up minor parts in TVB dramas. Kwok's breakthrough came when he ventured to Taiwan in the early 1990s. In 1990, he did a television advertisement in Taiwan for a Honda motorcycle. The advert made him hugely popular with Taiwanese women. It was also there that he released his debut album, Loving You Never Stop. The album's title track, which highlighted Kwok's charm and air of vulnerability, became an instant hit. The 1990s saw the high point of Kwok's singing career, he won his first major awards in 1991, and became known as one of the four heavenly kings of Kanto pop alongside Andy Lau Tech War, Jackie Chung Hop Yao and Leon Lai Ming. Of the four, Kwok was the most flamboyant showman. His 1994 album The Wild City sparked a men's fashion trend for denim shorts and leather vests and he would perform wearing acid green and fuchsia-colored feather boas. Kwok's dance moves were not popular just because they were sexy, the choreography for his 1994 hit, Temptation of the Iron Mask, was a meticulous work of coordination between him and a dozen dancers. The result was a military-style number that has yet to be replicated. In 1998, Kwok became the Asian spokesman for soft drinks company Pepsi, and an advertising campaign was launched that put Kwok alongside other big names associated with the brand, such as US singers Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson, and US model Cindy Crawford. In a recent YouTube interview with fellow Hong Kong actress Carol Cheng Yuling, Cheng talked about working with Kwok on the 1991 film The Queen of Gamble. At the time, the singer was still on the ascendant. I remember you telling me that you'd stop making films after you make a million Hong Kong dollars. I recall feeling that was a very low bar. Cheng recounted. You can only imagine how much tougher life was back then, Kwok replied. All I wanted to do was make enough to buy an apartment. Since that time, Kwok has developed a passion for a sport that requires deep pockets. Car racing, he was crowned the 2009 Clio Cup China Series champion at the 11th Beijing Auto Show, a master collection of racing cars and become the owner of Formula 3 racing team FS Sports. As an actor, Kwok has appeared in 68 films and taken on diverse roles that have included an amnesiac detective investigating serial killings in the 2009 thriller Murderer, a top officer in police procedural thrillers Cold War and Cold War II, and a homeless man in 2020 social drama I'm Living It. He has regularly been nominated for Best Actor in the Hong Kong Film Awards and the Golden Horse Awards in Taiwan. He was named Best Leading Actor in the latter for two years in a row. 2005 and 2006, for his roles in Divergence and After This Our Exile. Kwok finally won his first Best Actor prize at the Hong Kong Film Awards in 2016 for Murder Mystery Port of Call. His transition from music to the silver screen 
was initially a source of much suffering, as he told Edmund Lee, the current Post film editor, in an interview in 2013. At the time, I put my entire emphasis on the music profession, and because I was young, I was classified as an idol, he recalled. There were many layers of packaging on me. The record company gave you an image to do your job. They are extremely protective. They made you think that your image is very important, it's so firmly linked to your work that the two simply couldn't be separated. Quot added, when I was just a singer, it was easy to rest on my laurels. I would often hide myself from the world. But when your mind matures, you don't want to stay as an apple in a greenhouse, you want to venture outside. From 1990 to 2000 was one stage of my career, for the following decade, I hope to find something in movies that better matches my thoughts, my level of maturity and my work ethic. He concluded, I've been building up a trusting relationship with people who love movies. I want to let them know that I'm not just a singer, but also an actor. I want to be a professional actor, a completely professional actor. In recent years, Kwok's personal life has proved almost as noteworthy as his professional accomplishments. He surprised fans in 2017 by announcing his marriage to Mocha Fang Yuan, a Chinese model and actress 22 years his junior. The couple welcomed their first child, a daughter named Chantel, the same year and their second child, a daughter named Charlotte. In 2019, Kwok has embraced fatherhood with joy and dedication, often sharing heartwarming moments with his children on social media. While usually tight-lipped about his family, Kwok did reveal in an interview during a promotional event for the 2018 film Project Gutenberg, I don't think about race cars or supercars anymore. I drive family cars around now.